Hey. I'm sorry, did I wake you? I just... I don't know how long I can take it anymore. When can I finally see you? Are your grades dropping? You would act like that. 
Okay, guys, we cannot act like what? I'm just trying to understand. Are you saying that you want to switch schools? No. I'm saying that I want to drop out. Uh-oh. Marley, go to your room. Oh. Go to your room. Oh. Absolutely not. You're not even listening to me. Oh, I hear you. You want to throw your life away and drop out of school? Okay, that's not fair, Mom. You know what's not fair? The time, the money. I mean, all the effort to prepare you for the Ivy League. And no one asked you to do any of that. Mom, I'm trying to tell you. I think I'm depressed. You don't look depressed to me. Well, maybe you're seeing whatever you want to see. I can't focus in school. I'm always tired. I just feel empty. Okay, all right. Baby, I know this is a tough transition. But when I was your age, I was too busy supporting myself through college to feel depressed. Okay, so because you had a rough childhood, I'm not supposed to feel anything? Oh my god, your generation is obsessed with feelings. If you're overwhelmed, just come home. If I was to stay here, I'd go crazy. So what do you think, I'm running a torture chamber? Do you know how good you have it? You have a beautiful home with a family that loves you. I can't keep up with this fake orange juice life commercial thing that you're trying to live. It's bullshit. I am so glad your father isn't here to see this. He would be so disappointed. <sighs> Lauren, I didn't mean that. I, I didn't mean that, babe. leaving early? I can't be around here right now. But maybe we can talk about it. I'll see you later, Peanut, okay? Jessica Russo has not been seen for several days. Reports say she was last seen. Hey, I was listening to that. I have to focus. I'm stressed about this chem exam today. No reason to be stressed if you had studied hard enough, right? And I've seen you working your butt off. Yeah, but now that I hit the social outcast jackpot, being both the new kid and the vice principal's daughter, mom, academic excellence is all that I have. You got an A minus on the last exam. A plus is excellent. Good morning, Blue Valley High. It's Principal Shepard here, your biggest cheerleader. It's another beautiful day, another chance to academically excel. And I want to say good luck to all of you taking the state placement exam this morning. We believe in you. We know you can do it. Go Tigers!
I don't like people like you. What does that mean? You think you're better than everyone just because you're the vice principal's daughter? No, I don't. I literally just... Oh, my God. Mr. Whelan? What do you think you're doing? Who's next? Are you planning to apologize? Sorry, Marley. Can I go? Yes, to the principal's office. Now. Josh is trying to cheat off of you. Just don't freak out, Mom. I got it. My daughter hides the fact that she's being bullied at school. I think I can freak out a little. I'm just doing what you taught us. Grin and bear it.
I gotta make a phone call. I didn't realize you hadn't spoken to her in months. Okay, best of luck with school, Destiny. Hi, it's Cheryl. Have you spoken to Lauren? No. Everything is good. Hi, it's Cheryl. Oh, you haven't spoken to her in a few days. Yeah, we're, we're living in the new town. Oh, you haven't spoken to her in a day or two. She's having a hard time reaching her. Who's this? Who's this? You called me. I'm Cheryl Baker. I, I found your number in my daughter Lauren's call log. This is Eddie Brick. I manage the coffee shop in Cannon. <sighs> Where she works? Worked? What do you mean? She hasn't shown up in a few days. In fact, if you talk to her, let her know she doesn't need to bother coming back. She's fired. clothes, her computer, and her phone. Otherwise, it seems as if your daughter left voluntarily. That doesn't make sense. I mean, she would have called us and let us know, and all of a sudden, her phone is off? Look, I've seen this before. Students get overwhelmed, they skip out for a couple days, and then they come back. Not my daughter. I mean, maybe other students, but not my daughter. She wouldn't run away. She wouldn't. Yeah, well, I spoke with her roommate, Annie, who said that your daughter has been exhibiting strange behavior lately. Been skipping school. Did you know that about your daughter? No. I wasn't aware. Look, I know this isn't easy to hear, but there is no need to panic. Chances are your daughter's gonna show up in a couple days on your doorstep with a bag of dirty laundry. So then what? Do we just wait to see if my sister's actually missing? I thought the first 48 hours are supposed to be the most important. Marley, I'm sorry. It's been a long night. Look, we put a bowl out on your sister, okay? If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks.
an argument. But she said she was heading right back to school. Were you able to find out if that's true? Um, yes, there is surveillance footage of her leaving campus. The um, problem is it goes cold once she gets right off campus. Now, Lauren took both her phone and her computer. Do you guys have passwords or access to her social media? No. But you can subpoena the social media companies to get her data, right? <sighs> we can. It takes about two to four weeks to ever hear back. And if there isn't sufficient cause, then you won't get it. And in this case, there really isn't. Um, trying to do some background on your daughter... Does she have any history of prior disappearances or drugs or any close cases? No. And, and no. Detective, are you trying to figure out if my daughter is a criminal or if a crime occurred here? I am, I'm just trying to get my facts straight, ma'am. That's it. Okay, well, Miss Baker, the truth is we've got no evidence of foul play and Lauren is an adult. <laughs> Detective, she's 18. And, um... She voluntarily left her college campus. There's no crime there. What about a, a search party to check the woods behind the college or... That's a great idea. That's been very effective in the past. Unfortunately, we don't have the resources for that. But if you could get some volunteers together, put up some flyers, get involved in social media, it'd be a huge help. As volunteers from across the nation gather, the FBI now believes that Jessica Russo may have been abducted by a potential serial killer who is showing a similar pattern of killings to the infamous serial killer Ted Bundy. And that suspect is believed to be responsible for three murders across the Pacific Northwest. Jessica Russo disappearance. But you just never think it's actually going to be ever in your own backyard. I mean, oh, they seem like a nice family. But Cheryl, we were just saying how sorry we are that you have to go through all of this. I made an announcement at church. And everyone's praying for Lauren. Word's going to get out there. Excuse me. It just, and when it does, I bet that plastered all over the TV screen, just like Jessica Russo's. So 
busy with your pad. Oh, these two solving world problems, nothing from them. Leaving Miss Punctual herself, Alyssa, will you do me the honor? Sure. Thank you very much. All right, everybody, get back to work. Come on. News waits for no one. So your daughter's been missing just over a week. Yeah, and it's been a nightmare. I can't even get in touch with a detective that's assigned to her case. I mean, the cops called my sister a runaway. Like, that makes her not worth their time. What can you tell me about Lauren? Did she have any personal problems leading up to this? My husband died last year. Coronary heart disease. His death has been tough on the girls. Lauren has struggled in school. She's acted out a bit, but she has never and would never run away. I have to ask, considering what your family has been through, did Lauren show any signs of suicidal ideation? No. It could have never have gotten that bad. I, I would have seen something. Would you? You don't... You don't take a computer if you're going to. My gut tells me that my daughter is out there. I believe you. And we would be happy to run Lauren's photo in the 5 o'clock local news roundup. That's it? I thought you were taking notes to maybe do a story no, or something no. to see if there is a story. But look, if I'm being honest with you, there, there's just not much here. The police, they found no signs of forceful abduction. So until my daughter is murdered, she's not newsworthy. Unless salient details emerge, there is no story for me to report. Alyssa, phone call. I am really sorry. Is the girls? I 
guess technically it's harassment. I think of him more like a little fly buzzing in your ear. It's annoying, but harmless. You think Eddie has something to do with Lauren's disappearance? Maybe. But turns out there's a lot about my daughter that I didn't know. Truthfully, Eddie's a sleaze, but he's all bark. I can't imagine he would actually hurt someone. Thanks. There is one person you might want to look into, though. Uh, a stuck-up roommate. What's her name? Annie? That's it. If I had to put money on who might actually harm Lauren, it'd be Annie. Thanks.
have to find those DMs that she doesn't want the cops to see. I might have an idea. But I don't think you're going to like it. They're like amateur detectives who gather online to solve crimes. Marley, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be talking to strangers. But this may be our only chance of finding out what happened to Warren. Look, they said this one girl, um, Bella Holmes 2008, is a tech whiz. Mom, she may be able to help us find those DMs. Definitely be fired. But 
You know, it's highly unlikely that he or any were involved in Lawrence's parents. So I'm back to the beginning and nowhere closer to finding where my daughter is. I really am sorry, Mrs. Baker. I wish I had better news. <sighs> Thank you. Right? 
Right, but there's a trick. Try downloading Lauren's account data. Even deleted messages should appear in the archive. <gasps> there it is. I feel so lonely here. You're the only one who understands me. Looks like Ian was supposed to pick up Lauren and Crowley. That's right behind the woods in Canning. So that means that she did leave on her own. Yeah, but it looks like she wasn't supposed to be staying. It says a few days. Right. But that still doesn't explain where her phone is turned off. Or the fact that her debit card hasn't been used in almost two weeks. Exactly. We can find this guy, Mom. It, it's just like you said. We find Ian. We find Lauren. Imagine being Jessica's mom. How frustrated would you be? I mean, in my opinion, I feel like we're seeing this way too long. I reverse searched the logo on his shirt. It's from Record Outlet, the town over. Is that how you find out where Ian worked? Obviously. Okay. Sort of. They don't sell the shirt online, so I figured he has to be an employee. But nothing is happening in it. Good job, Detective Marley. Okay. Jessica, but this is a cold case. And this is a Now is not a good time. 
Lauren. No, but we found out who Lauren went to see the night she disappeared. Then you should go to the police, okay? We already called Detective Dean and we got his voicemail again. Alyssa, we need your help. I thought you understood as a mom. You are not the only people in Blue Valley who need help, all right? Listen, I, I understand that the authorities, they are not moving as quickly as you would like, but please be patient. If you guys go rogue, you could jeopardize the entire investigation. What investigation? I'm really sorry that I couldn't help more. We are not going to listen to her. No.
Cheryl. Loretta. <laughs> Give me a hug. Oh. Thank you for coming so quickly. Oh, I'm not far. And besides, that's Black and Missing's motto. Help us, find us. I'm so sorry your family's going through this. How have you been holding up? Just barely. If I didn't have Marley to take care of, I don't know what else I would do. Oh, that's why I'm here. So have you thought about doing any community events? Uh, maybe a candlelight vigil? I mean, we're new in town. I mean, I don't know how much of a community there is that would show up. I mean, when Lauren went missing, I just hoped that there'd be detectives combing the streets and her picture would be on every news channel. But now I know what the world thinks of my daughter. She's just another statistic. That's a lot of heaviness you're holding in. You got anybody you can talk to about these feelings? It used to be my husband. But now I don't want to burden people with my problems. What about a professional? You mean a shrink? Trauma like your family's been through? It cuts deep. If you broke your leg, you would go see a doctor, right? Yeah, but I respect that therapy works for other people, but that's not how I handle my problems. I hear you. You know, my mother used to say, all you need is prayer and some gumption. <laughs> Keep your head down low and push through your pain. But you know, times have changed. It is not a sign of weakness to admit that you need help. That takes strength, especially from folks like us. I don't know, sitting in a chair whining about my feelings is not going to bring my daughter home. Cheryl, this fight is going to stretch and pull you to your limit. You've got to take care of yourself, too. You won't do your daughter any good if you're broken up into pieces. so a 
appreciate you guys coming out and supporting. I thought more people would come. It's, it's still early. So what's with the police presence? I pay them no mind. If they were doing their jobs, we wouldn't have to be here, right? Here we are.
authorities now believe Jessica may have been a voluntary runaway. She just ran away. I promise you, Cheryl, I, I fought my ass off to give Lauren the coverage that she deserves. But, you know, then the pretty little blonde girl was found, so. Oh my God, can you believe that no one thought to consider that freaking Jessica Russo might be a runaway? I'm not surprised. Cheryl, I can only imagine what you're feeling right now. But I beg you, don't do anything reckless. Like trying to find Ian Turner can be really dangerous, okay? Tell me something. What would you do if that was your child? I am. Um...
Lauren back home. Is that right? Mom, you got this, okay? You've been prepping all week. Seriously, you've studied harder than Peanut before a big exam. <laughs> Baby, if you don't want me to do this interview and you're not ready, I don't have to. It's okay. Talk to my therapist about it. I want people to know what happened. I am so proud of the young woman you are. And you too. <laughs> special guest. Her name is Cheryl Baker. She is the mother of Lauren Baker, a young girl who was recently abducted. You've since learned that your daughter was not an isolated incident. In fact, your efforts thwarted a serial predator? That's correct, Mary. Mm -hmm. The police now believe that Lauren's abductor may have been responsible for the disappearance of six other young women in our area. So why do you feel like Lauren was the one that got out alive? Lauren comes from a family of means. Mm -hmm. The other victims were poor black and brown women on the margin of society. I mean, he didn't pick those women by accident. Hey, Russ, Russ, check it out. But he made a big mistake underestimating how far we would go to get Lauren's back. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah. Well, Cheryl, tell me this. Now that Lauren's abductor is facing a life in prison, do you feel like you and your family are finally getting justice? Justice? Mary, I assume you're familiar with John Benet Ramsey, Natalie Holloway, Gabby Petito. Of course. What about Relisha Rudd? Uh, no, unfortunately, I don't know. Relisha Rudd was a little black girl who went missing in D.C. March 1st, 2014. She's still missing. And there's so many more. Like Alyssa Jennings, College Station, Texas, Last seen, May 30th, 2022. Nia Glenn Lopez, Memphis, Tennessee. Last seen, October 1st, 2016. Still missing. Maya Barnes, Washington, D.C. Last seen, May 18th, 2017. Keir Johnson, Hampton, Virginia. Last seen, April 30th, 2017. Still missing. Jaya Allen, Tulsa, Oklahoma, last seen July 15th, 2021, still missing. Starletta Henderson, Shreveport, Louisiana, last seen November 28th, 2012.